Well, hell, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Stacking. We're kicking some major butt in this video. Why do you ask? Because we're, that's what we're doing. In this one, we're actually gonna... You're gonna see. I don't even... I don't even want to say. Look at these chumps. Yeah, of course I've escaped. Just tomfoolery? Ballyhoo? Horse feathers? Poppycock! Uh, have you seen me? I've seen me in the mirror. Okay, so obviously they're on the lookout for us because we escaped the brig in the last, um, in the last video. And we're moving on to bigger and bolder things. Um, this video is a little bit, uh, not as straightforward as the others. In the others you see me doing one objective and and finding all the solutions in, in one video typically. That's what I, the frame I try to place on each video um, just to make it easier to find you know if you if you want to come back and look and see how to do something then it's a little easier to find that. This one's this one's a little harder because once we start this objective uh, once we find the first solution, uh, always when you find the first solution, uh, you progress further in the story. However, in this one, they don't let you stick around to, f to find the other solution. It's, you're forced into moving forward. Um, so you'll see me find the f one of the solutions, and then, you know, big surprise. And then in the next video, we're going to come back. And we're going to find the four other solutions for this. And we have to stop the cart. And here we go. Uh, here's one of the sets. This is Equipment Dude. You can see he's part of a film crew. Pretty awesome if you ask me. And then that big man to his left, you can already tell he's part of it too. Um, and she, here we go. Trixie. Oh baby. And she has a very, very dramatic death. I like it. Oh, she's dead. And you can also see just the, the appearance. All of these sets, it's very easy to find them thematically or even just by um, their visual appearance. You can see both of these two have the, you know, kind of off-whitish dressing, black, you know, black and white. This. Uh, that guy back there is obviously part of us. Oh, here's another one. Here we go. Cameraman Joe. So, we're more, we're, uh, what are we? 60%, 80% of the way. Oh, we got a little ham hamlet going on here. To be or not to be? That is the question. I know, I should be in Broadway. So now we're going back to the big man, the head of honcho for this set. I like this set. It's one of my favorite. I really like film in general. And uh I was Oh, here we go. I'm just going to let you let you watch this. I know there's not really any um any vocal any audible dialogue. You gotta read it all. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. X 
excellent. Okay, so let's get back to it. Uh, what was my train of thought before I got cut off? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I was talking about film. I almost got a film minor in in university, so I really like film. It's just uh, I took, you know, a lot of uh, they're they're easier classes, but I actually enjoyed them, and I just thought, hey, I should take something I enjoy. So that was pretty cool. I like film, and we got to watch movies all day long. So now, yeah, child labor. Suck it. Suck it, Obama. And, uh, so of course, because of that, it's really progressing the story. All children are to be set free. So this is bad news for Mr. Baron. And, um, okay, let's watch. Uh-oh. Something fishy's about to happen. No! Okay. Ah, surprise! They're releasing those fish we saw earlier. Oh, look it! I love fishes because they're so delicious. Michael fishes made with real cheddar. Uh, I don't know if they're actually made with real cheddar. But look it! The fish are causing us to sink. This doesn't exactly make sense because uh, the mass of the ships have not changed. In fact, they're probably lighter now. Some of the fish I'm sure didn't stick to the top. And we release some water as well. Uh, maybe, maybe my science is just off. Anyways, we're gonna save the day. You know, little Charlie, that's what he does. He saves the day continually. And, uh, how do we do that? Well, let's find out. Stack the ambassadors together. Oh, okay. Well, first because I'm such a hard ass, I'm gonna try and get back into the room so we could do the rest of the carts, the stopping the cart solutions. That way's closed, very obviously. And, uh, well, we can't, can't go up there with Charlie. So you, this is what I was talking about, we're forced to do this, this mission. Pump the bellows. Piece of cake. Uh, there's only one way to do that, one solution. So, we shall get in all these ambassadors. Mini Napoleon. Purple head turban guy with a red light bulb. Abe Lincoln. Aunt Jemima. And Swiss Alps guy. Um, and that's, of course, the second set. Very easy to get that set as it's part of the story. And they're all right in the same spot. And of course they all have special abilities. No, your key won't open that, silly billy. Okay. So this is the door. Emergency exit. Typically, emergency exits don't require a unique key. It's just, like, very easy to get out of them. But, uh, there's consequences if, if you, uh, you know, actually open an emergency exit when there isn't an emergency, like a fine or something like that. Sometimes you could even go to prison, although, really, you probably would. Look at all these fish. We've got enough of lunch, dinner, breakfast, snack for the next several years. Okay, so get in the, the bellow, the pump, and then you keep de-stacking, we're unstacking. Oh, look at that fire grow. It's just like, it's growing like my love for, for... I don't know, YouTube, maybe? Of course, it's up to Charlie. The little fire below that only he can pump. And that's what did it. Oh, no, we're crashing, we're crashing. Top Gun 2. Zeppelins fall into the ground. Saved by Charlie the Runt. That would make a great movie. He could do, like... He could flip the other Zeppelin upside down over the other one and then give it the finger. Just like Tom Cruise does with Goose. That was great. Yay! Well, I mean, you guys sort of helped pump, but really, Charlie brought everybody together. And he was, he was the keystone. That's what Charlie is, he's the keystone. He holds it all together, or brings it all together, I don't even know. 
Keystone. That sounds like a National Treasure movie in the making. National Treasure 3? The Keystone? Oh, Nicolas Cage. Oh, I'm thirsty, guys. Okay, drink has been drank. Drunk. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So Abby is the sister we have saved. She's, she's that uh, she's that big gal there. And um, there we go. That's it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.